Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome back to my Screeps Newbie Guide. Today we're gonna talk about building things. So, as you can see, my colony is doing rather well. It's pretty healthy, a lot of creeps, they're doing a great job at spawning more creeps and upgrading the controller and everything seems well. So now that the survival of the colony is secured, the next step is to improve the colony. And we do so by building structures. Okay, to build a structure you click on the construct button up here. And this will open up this list of constructions available to you. And what is available to you depends on your controller level. So right now we have um, uh, extensions, 20 extensions. Can, we can build up to 20 expansions. We can build roads, walls, ramparts, one tower, five containers, and a storage. And when we level this up, we will unlock more stuff and increase the number of extensions and towers and stuff like that. So that's how it goes. So we're going to start with roads. Roads are very useful. Um, basically, let, let's talk about movement right now, shall we? Because that makes sense when we talk about roads, because roads are about movement. So every body part of a creep, so work, carry, stuff like that, um, will create fatigue while moving. And it creates fatigue depending on the terrain you're moving in. So every body part creates two points of fatigue every time it moves over a plain land. And four points of fatigue, if I remember correctly, when it moves over swamps. Um, there are two exceptions for that. The carry body part only creates fatigue when the, when the carry is full, basically, or it's, if it's not empty, I believe. Uh, if it's empty, it will not actually create fatigue. And the move body part will never create fatigue. Quite the opposite, it will always dis um, well destroy two fatigue, I guess, or decrease fatigue by two. So, and uh, the rule is that your creep can only move when he has a fatigue of zero. So, basically this means every time your creep moves, he will, cre um, he will create fatigue and every move part will decrease the fatigue and only if it's at zero uh, the creep can move again so if you have a new enough body uh, move body, um, if you have enough move parts then it will actually um, decrease the fatigue quick enough so your creep can move every turn or every tick so as mentioned every body part creates two fatigue on plain land and four on swamps well on roads it only creates one so you need way less body parts uh, move parts to make your creep uh, moving quickly on when he, while he's moving over roads um, as compared to when he's moving over, over swamps or plain land. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a bunch of roads over here and connect the important spaces, so the, the energy sources, the spawn, the upgrader um, with each other. So we can, um, or creeps can move quickly um, between them. And we're going we're gonna to build a little bit broader roads, roads um, two tiles broad, um, because, or wide, because... Um, that's easier for the creeps to maneuver, obviously. Well, we can we can add more roads later. Let's let's be okay with this so far. So those are not roads yet. Those are construction sites, and those construction sites will become roads as soon as we tell a creep to complete them. So in order to do that, we're gonna create a new role, um, which is the upgrader, and therefore we create a new module role dot. Uh, not the upgrader, a builder, obviously. We already have an upgrader. He's doing something completely different. So let's switch over to the ID and uh, open the builder module and uh, we actually copy the code from the harvester module again and put it in here and we're gonna adjust it a little bit because again a big part of the script will be the same we will have the same over here with the state switching we have the same over here with the harvesting of energy and the thing that changes again is the working part so instead of going to a spawn and transferring energy to it we're gonna look for a construction site and um, try to build it and uh, that's actually, actually we should have probably uh, picked the upgrader because that's more similar. But, well, let's just write it now. So what we're going to do is var construction site is creep.pos.find closest by path. And then we say find construction sites. And, uh, well, that's it. There we go. We have construction site, the closest one to this creep. And now, as always, we just do the same. Like, all those roles are actually fairly similar, as you can see. Um, so we're just going to do, as always, if get, uh, creep dot... Um, what was the, the function for this? I think build. Yeah, build construction site. And it works again very similar to the other functions like transfer and upgrade. It takes it gives it returns an error code if not in range. Error not in range. In that case, we're gonna move to the construction site. Yeah. Oops. Too many brackets. There we go. That's it. Now we have a builder. However, there's one problem with this. 
um, not really a problem, but kind of. Well, it's inefficient. When we don't have any construction sites, well, actually, this is a problem as well, because this could actually return zero. If this return, or not zero, but this could return uh, an empty array um, if we don't have any construction sites. And in this case, we would actually get an error here. Uh, and that would not be good because that would cancel our script. So we don't want that to happen. And also, if we don't have construction sites, we probably want the creep to do something else because we don't want to have it just sit around and don't do anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to check if construction site um, is uh, not undefined. There we go. And if that's the case, well, we're going to do exactly this. Oops, what we just wrote. But if it is undefined, this means we don't have any construction sites around or in this room. Um, then we gonna we want the builder to do something else. We could either let it harvest more energy so we get more can spawn more creeps, but I think it's more useful to actually let it upgrade the controller as well because there's like there's a limited number of creeps you want to uh, just do the harvesting thing. But the more upgraders you have, the quicker your controller gets upgraded. So that's usually a good idea. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to call the other module and we do that similar as we did it in the main uh, in the main script. So we actually can copy this from here. We copy this part, the require part and put it up here. So this works for modules as well. We can just do this. Oops. Um, and now we have the role upgrader here and this is the object that has the code for the for the upgrader. Um, similar as in the main script. And now we're just going to call it from here. So role upgrader dot run creep cool and now it will do the upgrading if it doesn't if it can't find any construction sites so that's good um last thing left is we have to spawn a few builders so we're gonna adjust the spawn code a bit so here's the spawn code so far it checks for the number of harvesters to be um at uh, 10 at least and if it isn't it tries to spawn a harvester and if it is then it will try to spawn an upgrader so we're gonna fit builders in here as well. By the way, um, I changed the layout of the body for the upgrader around because um, the up like it makes sense to have two work carry move for the harvester at least in this room because the energy sources are so close to the spawn. But uh, since the upgrader is a little further away, I think it makes more sense to give um, the upgrader two move parts. So okay, let's um, let's change the code around. So actually, we first we're gonna copy this and. Um, Adjust it a little bit. I'll oh, actually this as well. So harvesters. So we create a new variable minimum number of upgraders. Um, we put to one because we always want to have at least one upgrader. If we don't have an upgrader, our t controller will degenerate, and um, yeah, that's not a good thing. So you always want to have at least one upgrader, and we also well actually don't have a minimum number for builders. That oh no, actually we, no no that's a good idea. Um, it's a good idea. Number of builders, uh, let's say one as well. So we always can build, like our, our building jobs will always be completed, hopefully, if we have enough creeps in total, um, that is. Sorry. And now we're going to copy this as well and do the same for upgraders and builders. Upgrader and builder. Oops, builder. That's not an English word. Well, that's not a word at all in any language, as far as I know. So um, now we have those variables available, and now we can adjust this code down here a little bit. So if we have the first thing we should check is that is that we have enough harvesters because this this is the highest priority. If we don't have enough harvesters, um, we cannot spawn new creeps, and well, our colony will die out. So that's not a good thing. The second most important. Um, priority is to uh, check for the upgraders. So we check number of upgraders is smaller than the minimum number of upgraders. And for some reason it screwed up the intendation, but we can fix that. There we go. And um, now we're gonna try to spawn an upgrader, which is this line down here. And <coughs> There we go. And if we have enough um, harvesters and builder uh, upgraders, we're gonna try to. Why is it always doing the intention wrong? <laughs> eh, goddammit. Um, oops, forgot the else. Else, if 
number of builders is smaller than minimum number of builders. In that case, you guessed it, we create a builder. Uh, there we go, builder. The builder will hopefully um, move well, fairly close to the to the energy source in the beginning as well, and also um, he will move over roads hopefully for the most part. So we're gonna change this around a little bit, and we probably go, yeah, let's go with work, work, carry, move. That makes sense. There we go. And um, yeah, use the same build as for the harvester. Um, and um, yeah, that's good. And I think we keep it that way. And if we have enough builders, we're actually going to change the default. We can actually... Hmm, mm, no, let's not put that in a variable. Let's just put that down here. So the default will be an upgrade. Or so we just keep that as it is right now. So uh, not No, actually no. I wanted to change that. The default will actually be a builder. There we go. Because this means if we have enough um, creeps available, or enough energy to spawn enough... Uh, as well, the other way around. If we have a bunch of creeps already to fit the minimum requirements and we can spawn more creeps, then we can spawn more builders, which will allow us to build all the, of, um, complete all the buildings, all the construction sites we set up. And if there are no construction sites around, they will become co upgraders anyway. So I think it's good to have the default being a builder. And we're gonna use that. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, we're gonna use that because those are builders. And uh, there we go. We're gonna save that. And um, let's check if we created a builder already. Maybe. Is Jordan a builder? Memor well, let's, let's just check it via console. Game creeps dot Jordan dot memory dot roll. Oops. What's it doing? Memory roll. He's a harvester. So, nope, he's not. Okay. <laughs> but the next creep might be a builder. So, what we could do now is we could change some of those creeps' roles um, to have two builders. But actually, we don't have to do that because we just adjusted the spawn logic. So, over the course of the next one or two hours, we will get a bunch of builders anyway. So, yeah, let's not do that. Instead, let's talk about a few more buildings, shall we? So, roads are important, as mentioned. The next important thing are extensions. Extensions are... Basically, um, thing, buildings where you can storage energy in with the special effect that you can use this energy similar to the energy in a spawner to spawn creeps. So you can combine the energy from the spawner and the extensions and take all this energy to create a creep, which allows you to build bigger creeps. Because right now the spawner can only take 300 energy, so you, we can only build creeps that cost th um, 300 energy max. If we build extensions, every extension increases that number by 50. And since we have controller level 4 already, because my creeps were pretty busy overnight, um, we can build up to 20 extensions, which will give us another 1000 energy to play around with. So that's a good thing, because if you build bigger creeps, that has a lot of advantages. In general, they're more efficient, and also it will cost you less CPU to control them because you will have less creeps. So right now I have a lot of creeps, but when we build all those extensions and build bigger creeps, we will have way less creeps, but those are, will be way more efficient. And as mentioned, because there are less creeps, we will need less CPU to actually run them. Um, because if you have like 30, 40, 50 creeps, you might actually run into CPU problems up here. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's good to have a lot of extensions. So let's just pump down some extensions um, where we see fit. I think uh, close to the energy source is always a good idea. Uh, it's not. Oh yeah, you cannot put them too close. There's a rule about that. I'm not sure how far I can go. That's apparently too close. We cannot build there either. Let's try there. No, it's still too close. Okay, uh, it's still too close. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. We can probably put one down there. Yeah, this this worked. Can we put one down there? Uh, I don't think so. We can do some here, so let's do that. Can we put one there, maybe? Yeah, we can, there we, very good. So we just um, place them next to the roads, basically. So let's see what we can build them. Over here and here, here. Yeah, next to the spawn makes sense as well. Put some here. We can still build a lot of them. Uh, that's, that's too close again, okay. Um, I think we just go down. Well, we could actually just build a road up here and put some extensions there. That kind of makes sense. So let's try that. Um, actually, let's not build them too close to the... Well, we cannot build them too close to the energy source anyway. Uh, so let's just go with... Like, let's say we put a road here like this. And we put extensions 
Well, we let's do a, a double road actually. Oops, that's not where one. Well, actually, it's fine. Um, we do like something like this. There we go. Um, we put a bunch of extensions in between. It's actually still too close. Now, I'm not sure how big the range is for, um, like where you cannot build extensions because they're too close to a source. So we can build a few more. Um, let's go over there, there, and one more. Let's put it down here. There we go. Okay. Now we set up 20 construction sites for extensions. And over time, those will be built. This will take a while. Um, but yeah, this will work over time. So other important things are walls, ramparts, and towers. You don't have to bother with containers and storage in the beginning. Um, you can use them. And they're most for, like they're all just um, storage for energy and other resources. And uh, at the beginning, you don't really need them because you're just going to spawn as many creeps as possible anyway. So all the energy you get in your extension, your spawning, you will instantly use it. And then the space is um, available again for uh, for harvesting. So of to store energy that you just harvested. So you don't have to bother about those right now. Later, they'll become important if you want to save up energy to build like a group of, of creeps or something like that. Um, very quickly then those become useful but in the beginning i feel they're not important so walls are important however be well because at some point um the game will decide to spawn npcs in your room or at the exits of your room which will start to attack your colony so oh i actually have four entries that's really bad um we probably can wall off pretty clever for the most part though uh down here will be a little bit more tricky um, we're gonna need a bunch of um, walls for that. We could go like this, but then our space is very limited. Well, let's go with that in the beginning anyway. We can change that later. So we're gonna build some walls and also some ramparts. So walls cannot be passed. Ramparts, however, can, but only by, only by your creeps. So walls, uh, ramparts are like walls to other creeps and like plain land to your creeps, basically. And uh, creeps can be inside of ramparts, or your creeps can be, and they can attack while they're in the rampart, a creep that is standing next to the rampart, but the other creep cannot attack your creep while he's in the rampart, and he has to destroy the rampart first. So ramparts are pretty good defensive buildings. So we're going to start by putting down some walls, shall we? Um, I tried to scroll, but we're in the wrong thing. So let's scroll up here and place down some walls. A wall, there we go. Um, where do we cut off? I guess we close this and this and this and this and this and um, actually I want to have a rampart over here oh I forgot we have to be a little bit more a little bit more uh, they have to be a few more roads uh, not roads walls I don't want to build roads what am I doing what am I even doing um does it tell me yeah that's a road okay um we don't want to build roads we want to build construct uh, walls. That's a wall, though. That, that that was correct. So okay, I only screwed up the recent one. Um, recent ones, construction walls. So because creeps can move diag diagonally, um, you have to build walls a little thicker at some spaces. So we're gonna do. Uh... Oh, I have too many construction sites. Okay, well I guess that settles that then. Um, we cannot have more construction sites right now, so we're gonna have to wait to build more. So, but the idea is to wall off those entries and have some ramparts so we can actually leave the area if we want and then set up a tower um, which is a good idea as well the tower is a defensive well not only defensive actually the tower is mostly a defensive building it can attack creeps and we have to write code for that as well and you have to supply it with energy and then it will shoot enemies um, but also it can be used to repair things and to heal your creeps so that's pretty cool um, uh, it's pretty versatile basically so yeah we can only build one tower right now because our control level is not high enough I think you get the second one at controller level six maybe I'm not quite sure um, but yeah it, it's pretty it's a pretty useful building so you want that but um, yeah we cannot build more construction sites right now so I have to wait uh, for builders to spawn so they build the buildings so um, there are less construction sites so I can build more but you get the idea um, there's one more important thing about buildings most of the buildings have to be repaired and to set up a logic for that well we're gonna do that in the next video in the next part so for now thanks all for watching I hope you learned something today have fun and see you next time